we are told to evaluate a function h of x at several points. And what this means is you've got some function h, and I don't know what shape it is, maybe something like this. And we're told to figure out what its value is at certain x points. Now, what I mean by its value is its y value. See, this is h, okay, this curvy blue line here. And if you plug in some x value, like this one, you're gonna get a y value, okay? Here's my x value, you're gonna get some y value over here. And that's the graphical explanation. Algebraically, the way to solve this is, is really quite easy. You just take a number and you plug it in wherever you see x. So for example, h of negative four equals negative four squared. See, I just took that x squared and changed it to negative four squared. Minus five times negative four. See, I just did this one and then plus three. There was no x on that last part, so I didn't need to plug negative four into anything. And you'll notice that I'm using these negative fours inside parentheses. Parentheses are very, very useful things because they remind us, hey, you have to do a multiplication here. Be careful, especially when it comes to these plus or minus signs in there. That's where a lot of people mess up when they're doing evaluations. So carry this through the rest of the way. Negative four squared, that's negative four times negative four, that's 16. Negative 5 times negative 4 is positive 20. And then you have a plus 3. Okay, so this is going to come equal to, let's see, 36, 39. Okay, so that would be my answer there. That's the result when you plug negative 4 into your equation.